So we're gonna talk about nutrition right now. Okay, back then when I was starting, um, I was working with my dad, and then we allowed all of them to eat all types of food. So we allowed them to eat um, rice, bread, processed food, you know. Um, and just with the protocol that I have, I see results, but it's not as dramatic, you know, when when I remove some of the medication, uh, some, some of the uh, food. And then when we started removing the, the rice, uh, anything that is sweet, we saw results like it was very, very dramatic. Um, siguro mga after one month, we saw results as fast as one month. So that's why for those people who are very skeptic, okay, I only have one thing to tell you. Try it first, okay? So now if you cannot do the entire protocol, it's up to you naman. It's up to you. I have never, I have never forced anyone. When we talk about um, nutrition, um, the cancers, especially cancer cells, they love sugar. So anything that is sweet okay anything that uh, that is easily converted to sugar we usually don't advise like rice bread sweet potatoes yung mga yan. and another are processed food they're really bad for us the processed food so when it comes to the processed food um they are converted to a very harmful substance in our body, lalo na yung mga bacon, tiba, yung mga mga processed food na yan, yung mga merong nitrosamines, you call them, nitrates. So we eat them and then they are converted to nitrosamines. Okay, so pagka nakakonvert yan sa nitrosamines, that's a primary cause of stomach cancer. So usually talaga, we do not allow processed food. So what is the diet now? Okay, so Majority of the diet should be rich in good fats. Okay. Ano ba yung mga good fats? Um, avocado. Yan. Virgin coconut oil. Um, butter. Yan. So, uh, olive oil. Yan. Mga matataas ang mga fats yan. Ano? And then, green leafy vegetables. Of course, always green leafy vegetables. Okay. So, yung mga... Um, Mga malungga, yan, alugbati, yan. Dapat yan ang kinakain ninyo. Fish, okay? So, the smaller the fish, the better for us. Kasi pagka smaller yung fish, mas konti yung exposure niya sa heavy metals. Kasi ang ating dagat, they have a lot of heavy metals right now, you know? Um, there's a lot of contamination with mercury. And mercury has been proven, okay, to cause uh, cancer in uh, and in so many ways, it can also cause uh, dementia. So, yung mga yan, hindi talaga maganda sa atin yan. So, next is that we have to eat <clears throat> red meat. Okay, yan, nakikipag-away na naman. <laughs> I have so many enemies with red meat. Okay, they do not like red meat. Now, red meat, okay, meat from, from animals, these are whole proteins. Okay, complete proteins. So the plants they have proteins as well, but they are incomplete. Okay, the animal fat, the animal meat, meat, they are complete. So it's for me as long as it's organic, it's grass fed. Um, there's no antibiotics, no vaccines has been given to the animals. You can give it. Okay. Now crabs, tiba yung mga grazers, yung iba ayon nila. Okay. So well, this is your discretion. I know, with the shrimps, with the crabs. Usually, yung ibang patient, kasi um, madumi yung, yung pinagkukunan nila. So, na kinakain na mga crabs, kinakain na mga, na mga shrimp. So, usually, yung iba, ayon na nilang kainin. Well, that's your discretion again. Okay? Sa akin, I allow it as long as they know where it came from. So, kung malinis naman, malinis naman yung lugar, so you can eat crabs as long as you don't have any allergies to them. Okay? Okay.